Hi everybody, I'm Peter Graves for Ski Tracks. We're standing next to Eric Bjornsson, who just a few moments ago came up with a, a great victory in a hard-fought race here today. And uh, Eric, first of all, uh, let's talk about the race here today. Uh, you were pushed hard, but you had enough juice left to uh, come up with a victory. I did, yeah. I mean, it was, uh, it was a tough race out there, and there's some... Uh... Got yeah, some tactical moves kind of halfway through with people switching skis and um, you know it was a debate whether to switch early or uh, keep, save the fast skis for the end but I think we switched at 25k and then uh, Scott and I were able to wheel back uh, Adam um, and then it was kind of the three of us to the, to the finish. You had a lot of APU teammates out there. Was there any tactics that you talked about pre-race that you were going to try to do and if so did you effectuate them? Uh, no, I mean, I, APU, of course, is my club team, but all right. the guys here are, are my teammates. I mean, this is the U.S., so um, I think everybody, you know, it's fun to race here with uh, a bunch of Americans. Uh, I mean, everybody's happy to be here, and, uh, you know, it's great to see guys like Adam skiing really strong. And, um, I haven't seen him all season, and it's really it's good to see him uh, pushing hard at the end of the season like this. So, uh, you've got to be pretty satisfied with the season you had. I think your best performance was a ninth in, in Seefeld, Austria, an excellent result. Uh, kind of give me a, a quick overview of this season. Yeah, I felt like it was pretty consistent. Um, I think I scored points about 15 times, um, which is, I scored the most amount of World Cups points that I've scored. Uh, but there was a lot of results around the 25th to 30th place. Um, and so, I, you know, I'm hoping to make another step forward. And I'd love to be cracking the top 20 a little more often. Of course, that top 10 in Seyfeld was, uh, I mean, it was a great race. It was good feelings. And um, that's been a goal of mine for a while to kind of break into that top 10. So, uh, you know, hopefully I can, improve on that next season. Well, we've talked a lot about the women here and their uh, stellar season, um, but there's a lot of reason for optimism with the men as well. I, I think you and a, a number of others represent sort of this new uh, vanguard of uh, distance skiers and, and Scott and, and several others as well. Uh, comment on your thoughts on that. Yeah, I mean, it's great to you know, have some guys now that are mixing it up in distance skiing, and of course, you know, sprinting, we've seen Andy and Simi just uh, so dominant over the last few years, and those guys are, you know, consistent, or, you know, they're getting podiums almost every year, so that's, that's great. Um, but I think what all the guys on the U.S. ski team are most excited about is this next group of guys coming up. I mean, we saw a podium at World Juniors in the team relay, like, that was the most exciting race I watched this season. Sorry, Keegan and Jesse, but that's true. I mean, that was really cool, and we're really fired up about that. Yeah. Um, I hope a few of them can join us at some camps this season, and um, it'd be great to really get those guys fired up. And so, uh, you know, when I'm watching at home in a few years, those guys will be um, cracking the World Cup podiums. Definitely, so. definitely. Very encouraging. Yeah. Everybody's learning all the time. What was was there a takeaway you had on this season in particular that uh, it was like a bell going around? Uh huh. I I uh, I learned the Europeans could be beaten or what? I don't want to put words in your mouth. What, was there a takeaway from this season? Something you learned? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I start to feel like um, I've been on the World Cup for a while, even though it's I think it's only been five or six years. But mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's nice that I don't feel like I improved a ton I mean, it's hard to make big steps but I made a little one you could see big jumps in the results just because of a little step so I really think that if I can improve a bit more um, then I, I think that I can consistently be in the top 10 which is um, you know that's my goal I've, it's always been my goal to be on the podium um, and I think if we can start being in the top 10 consistently it's only a matter of time before I can come together and back out of podium. Super. Finally, everybody wants to know, what are you going to do now? Are you going to go to someplace warm? Or are you going uh, back to Anchorage? Or what are your plans now? Um, I'm actually pretty excited to do some more skiing, um, cross country and do some back country in the Alpine. Mm -hmm. uh, but my fiance is psyched to head to the beach. So we'll, we'll head to the beach for three or four days in Florida, visit my grandparents and my parents down there. So, um, and then we'll head back up to Alaska and get some powder. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. You had a wonderful season Thank and congratulations. You. Thanks. Yeah.